So in this video, I'm going to share with you five big mistakes I see people making when they are creating Instagram Reels and what to do instead. I've been experimenting with Reels on both of my Instagram accounts over the last few months now, and I've even had a few of my Reels go viral as well. So I'm starting to understand what works well, what doesn't work so well, and I see so many of these mistakes happening all the time on Reels that I thought I would address them in a video. So if you want to make sure you're not making any of these and doing Reels in the best possible way to bring you the most results, carry on watching. Hi, if you're new here, my name is Anna. I am a designer and online educator at byrosanna.co.uk. And here on YouTube, I share videos about business, marketing, tech tutorials, productivity, and all of that good stuff. So if you like that kind of content, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give me a thumbs up while you're there. So let's get straight into these mistakes then and definitely stick around till the end of the video because I think the fifth mistake you hear will give you a really, really good tip on how to expand your reach and really grow your Instagram, getting the most possible out of your reels. So stick around. So mistake number one, which is probably the most common is not creating your reels for the right target audiences. Now, hopefully because you have a business or a brand that you're growing, you'll have a clear idea of who your ideal customers are who your target audience is and who you're trying to attract on your social media platforms. If you don't, I've got loads of resources on this, which I will leave in the description of this video, but hopefully you're at least a little bit clear on who you actually want to be following you so that you can eventually turn them into customers. And one thing I see happen all the time on Reels is that there'll be some kind of trend going around, whether it's a dance, whether it's a certain audio that people are miming to or something like that. And businesses or brands will hop onto that because it's fun, it's entertaining, it might be quite easy to do. They'll get quite a few views on this video, but that doesn't actually give them anything in return. It doesn't give you any more followers. Yes, lots of people watched it and thought it was funny, but so what? If your reels are too general and they're not specifically tailored to your target audience, all that's going to end up happening is you'll get a few views, but people will then go onto your profile to see if they want to follow you. And it's probably not likely that you're a good fit for them because your content that they originally found you through was too general. Or, and this is actually possibly even worse, those people will actually go onto your profile and follow you. But then all you're going to end up with is a large following of people who aren't your target audience, aren't your ideal customers, and you're going to find it really, really hard to get your Instagram engagement up and actually turn those people into customers eventually. So make sure that when you are thinking about reels to create, you're actually thinking about, okay, how can I make this specific to my target audience and my business? Mistake number two is kind of similar, and that is creating a reel without having a goal or a purpose to that reel. So just creating it for fun. Maybe yes, you've tailored it to your audience and it's something that's very relatable to them, but what does that actually do for your business? Maybe all of your target audience watched it, maybe they liked it, maybe they even commented on it, but did they turn into followers afterwards? Did they see that reel and think, this is the kind of content I want on my feed, I'm gonna go and follow this person. So you really want to make sure that each of your pieces of content actually has a goal attached to it. What do you want people to do after seeing this reel? Do you want them to share this on their um, on their stories, for example? Do you want them to follow you? Because then that will feed into your um, goal to increase your Instagram following by X amount or something like that. Do you want them to go to your website after they've watched this reel? Do you want them to sign up to your email list? Have a goal in mind when you create the reel and that will hopefully help you come up with some kind of call to action at the end of the reel or write something in the caption that can direct people or funnel people into actually achieving your goal. Because let's face it, reels do take a little bit of time to get used to and actually create each week. And so you want to make sure that the effort you're putting in is actually going to be getting you results and moving the needle forward in your business. Mistake number three is not utilizing the trending audios or the popular themes that you see going Going on on Instagram Reels. Yes, it's great to share your own behind the scenes and tips or whatever it is you're doing on Reels, but one of the greatest ways to expand your reach and get your Reels to go viral is by hopping on a popular trend or audio that you see on Instagram Reels. Now, I'd suggest spending a little bit of time each week actually going through the Reels feed on Instagram just to do a little bit of research. I call it intentional scrolling and I do end up spending way more hours on it than I planned to originally because I enjoy it. 
But if you do a little bit of research each week, what you can do is start to work out what types of content people are creating at the moment, what audios or what songs are being used over and over again in different ways and what concepts people are really finding popular at the moment. And then take those and think about how you can twist them to fit with your specific target audience and go ahead at having a go at recreating them yourself. Mistake number four is not making your reels punchy enough. Now, what I mean by this is maybe doing a reel where you've got lots of slow parts in it, maybe there's lots of gaps between where you're delivering information, maybe you're actually trying to get across too many points at once and your message isn't clear. With each of your reels, you really want to be making sure that one, you have one clear goal and one clear purpose with each reel, as I mentioned before, but two, you want to make sure your message is super clear. It's not being drowned out by too many overwhelming messages and it's not de being delivered in a boring way or a way that's too fast. You really want to get that balance right of hooking people in when you start your reel and delivering your message clear and concisely without waffling too much. If your reel is less than 15 seconds or if your reel is less than 30 seconds, that's absolutely fine. It's good to play around with different lengths and see what works for you. As long as your message is clear and punchy and actually hooks people in and makes them want to watch and finish the whole thing, then you're onto a winner. And finally, mistake number five is people not repurposing their reels on other platforms. Now, this is a massive tip that I would suggest you look into is actually taking your reels that you've created on Instagram or making sure you've got them saved to your phone so that you can then upload them onto other social media platforms that you're using or that your business is present on. TikTok is a great example. You can really easily take your reels and upload them onto TikTok and try and reach new audiences on there. Pinterest is another great example. You can create video pins from your reels, but also you could upload them to places like Facebook or even YouTube as well. I know the dimensions are slightly different, but you could still give it a go and see what your audience thinks. It's worth doing it because it barely takes any extra time to just save it and upload it to a new platform. So I hope you found these tips helpful. If you want to learn more about how to get started with Instagram Reels in a strategic way that actually brings you results for the effort that you're putting in, then go and check out my new online course. It's called Intentional Instagram Reels. It's only £27 and you get everything you need in it to get started, including the tech tutorials. I show you how to plan and streamline your process for actually creating them and coming up with ideas, as well as more tips for making them really strategic and publishing them and saving them all in the right way and how to repurpose as well. So if you want to get your hands on that course, I will leave the link for that in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I'll be back again next week with another video.